S10. And there's a start list for this final. Interesting that Andre Brazil only qualified into lane seven. He's the defending champion and the Paralympic record holder. So here are the finalists. Well, there we can clearly see Joe Wise from the USA, and he's proud of that. 4.18.65 to qualify, 19 years of age. There's the applause for Robert Welburn from Great Britain, 25-year-old. Stop the clock in 4.17.13 to qualify. Isaac Bulkley goes in lane number three for Canada. The 18-year-old stopped the clock in 4.16.97 this morning. Silverman for the USA goes in for the fastest qualifier. 4.13.48 for the 16-year-old. Benoit Hoyt goes in lane number five for Canada. 4.15.22 for the 28-year-old. The eldest competitor in this final, equal to Brazil. Lucas Ludwig goes in lane six for Germany. 23-year-old posted 4.16.98. Andre Brazil from Brazil. 4.17.15 this morning. The defending champion, the Paralympic record holder, goes in lane seven. But the 28-year-old will be determined to do the best he can. And there's Kevin Paul. Yes, the South African, 21 years of age, qualifying in eighth place for this final. 4.19.64 for him earlier today. Well, that young man there is up for the challenge. Had a very racy stroke this morning, very quick with his arm rate. <laughs> Silverman, although quick with his arms, never really went to his legs. Brought the leg kick in. More down the final 100. So more power to come from his outboard motor. Fastest qualifier in lane four. Eight lengths of the pool. to separate the men through the air. Very nice in lane number two is Welburn. Robert Welburn from Great Britain. But in lane seven, Brazil always very good through the air and in the water. He's streamlining and his skills are second to none. Brazil was the fastest, 0.69 off the blocks and looks very smooth indeed. 27.87 for Brazil followed by Silverman, followed by Welburn. And look at the advantage Brazil took there off the turn underwater. And he's looking across to his right-hand side, just smoothly stroking out and finding the rhythm and balance and pace for this event. He'll be strong all the way. Andre Brazil, the defending Paralympic champion in seven, turns first again, 58-24, and that's quick. That's very quick. Second place is Silverman, third is Welburn. Welburn going very well up in lane number two. Silverman with a much quicker racy stroke there in the middle of the pool for the USA. Almost looking back there at Hoyt, Hoyt in five for Canada. 
It really was a great race, a blanket finish in the heats this morning as the men charged into both the qualification times. Look at the skills of Brazil off the wall and underwater. Free swim speed as he glides underwater like a rocket. Great technique for everyone watching, especially the youngsters. Just look at this man nearest to us in lane number seven. Lovely low profile, not lifting the head to breathe, turning the chin slightly to the side and keeping a low head position. One ear in the water, one eye in the water, as he still takes the lead. But it's a slow rotation there for Brazil, very slow. Silverman, well done, Brazil. That was a very slow turn indeed. Good underwater, but didn't make that tuck tight and sharp. But that man did, Silverman right there. And Welburn challenges, and he challenges again. And now Welburn into the lead. Silverman into second. Brazil is in third as Hoyt comes through in lane five. This is the third 100, the most important 100, where the race starts to race and the men become men. The leg kick powers away. Increasing stroke rate, increasing effort to maintain speed or increase speed. Robert Welburn in second. Look at the accelerative speed of Silverman. Silverman for the USA in lane four. Just 16 years of age. Welburn, 25 years of age. More experienced competitor. Welburn's in second. Silverman turns first. 3.02.42. They're just on song for a world record. And there's the leg kick that was so promisingly made to come. Silverman brings the kick in again, even more powerful than this morning. He's gone to his legs. Welburn is trying to stay with him. Welburn in second place for Great Britain. Hoyt is now in a strong third as Brazil put, falls back to fourth. But this man, Silverman, from the USA, turns for his final length. He has 31 seconds to get back for a new world record. Is he going to do it? I think he is. Lane two, well done, really being challenged by Hoyt. Hoyt coming back with every single stroke now as Silverman charges for that gold and for the world record. Look at Hoyt come back. Hoyt in lane five, he's storming. Weldon falling back into third place. Silverman is falling off world record pace, but he's going to get the gold medal. 404-91. Massive performance for the 16-year-old. He is absolutely delighted. Hoyt takes a massive silver medal and Welburn a tremendous bronze. Hoyt 406.58, Welburn 408.18. What a race. There's Hoyt, he's happy with that. Well then, he did challenge, but then Silverman just went to a different planet in floods of tears there. Well, if a racing car has 10 gears, that man found gear number 12. The kick was phenomenal. There's his dive start. And the tumble turn there, didn't stay down underwater. Often these swimmers going some distance for the butterfly kick, the fastest way to move in the water. Demonstrated very well by Andre Brazil, but Brazil just didn't have the fitness to see it through there. Out of the medals. Silverman, the champion.